Natalie Wood was an icon during Hollywood's golden age. Born in 1938, she began her acting career at a young age and quickly rose to stardom, becoming one of the most beloved actresses ever time. Before becoming a Beverly Hills legend, Natalie Wood was a true Valley girl. As a teen movie star in the 50s, Natalie lived with her Russian immigrant parents and sister Lana in various San Fernando Valley communities like Burbank, Northridge, Sherman Oaks, and on the north slope of Laurel Canyon. Later in life, she and her husband actor Robert Wagner lived in a stunning Palm Springs estate that most recently came up for sale in 2018. The historic California property boasted a main rock house with over 5,000 square feet and six bedrooms, as well as a separate three-bedroom guest house. Natalie Wood's death remains one of Hollywood's biggest mysteries. On November 29, 1981, the acclaimed actress drowned under suspicious circumstances while on a yacht near Catalina Island with her husband Robert Wagner, co-star Christopher Walken, and the boat's captain Dennis Deverne. Despite initial rulings of accidental drowning, inconsistencies in witness statements, and emerging details prompted the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department to reopen the case in 2011. In 2018, Wagner was named a person of interest, but no charges were filed. Natalie Wood's entry into Hollywood was almost predestined. She started acting as a child, securing her first notable role in Miracle on 34th Street in 1947, at only eight years old. As she grew, Wood transitioned seamlessly into more mature roles, showcasing her versatility and depth as an actress. In the 1950s and 1960s, she starred in a series of iconic films that cemented her status as a Hollywood legend. Her roles in Rebel Without a Cause, alongside James Dean, West Side Story, and Splendor in the Grass earned her critical acclaim and several award nominations. Natalie Wood's love life was as captivating as her film role. She was famously married twice to actor Robert Wagner. Their first marriage began in 1957 when Wood was 19 and Wagner was 27, but ended in 1962. Wood then married British producer Richard Gregson in 1969, with whom she had her first daughter, Natasha. However, this marriage was short-lived and they soon after divorced. In a twist of fate, Wood and Wagner rekindled their romance and remarried in 1972. Their second union was full of ups and downs, but they remained together until her untimely death in 1981. Family was immensely important to Natalie Wood. She was the daughter of Russian immigrants and her parents' influence was a big part of her life. Wood's mother Maria was particularly important to her early career, managing and guiding her through Hollywood's waters. Wood had two daughters, Natasha from her marriage to Richard Gregson and Courtney Wagner from her second marriage to Robert Wagner. She was known to be a loving and dedicated mother, balancing her demanding career with her responsibilities at home. When it came to where Natalie Wood and Robert Wagner called home, they long lived in a picture-perfect Beverly Hills mansion, which they kept quite private. All that's known is that this house was known for the couple hosting elegant parties. Despite her glamorous public persona, Wood cherished the quieter moments at home. She was an avid reader and enjoyed spending time with her family away from the limelight. In 2018, another iconic home of Natalie Wood and Robert Wagner came up for sale at just under $2.5 million. This stunning property was located on 1.6 acres of land in Palm Springs, California. It was the first time it came up on the market in 40 years. Built in 1940, Natalie's one-time home featured a main rock house spanning over 5,000 square feet of space with six beds and 6.5 baths. There was also a three bedroom, two bath guest house with its own private entrance and parking for three to four cars, bringing the total living area to nearly 7,000 square feet. The house itself is remarkable, boasting a rustic exterior of stone that continues inside. There's rough exposed beams, paver floors, original mullion windows, carved doors and shutters, multiple fireplaces, and original tiles and iron accents. These elements combine 
to create an enchanting and timeless setting. Out on the grounds, the setting's equally impressive, with a yard sitting on a gently rolling hill in the Mesa neighborhood. Highlights here include a tennis court, the original swimming pool with a diving board, a beautifully landscaped garden, and 66 palm trees. After Natalie's passing in 1981, the home was eventually purchased by Pulitzer-winning author Herman Wolk for just under $1 million in 1983. In 2022, another property that had been enjoyed by the late Natalie Wood and Robert Wagner came up on the market for $16.6 million. This one all the way over in Hawaii. The stunning retreat was rented by the Hollywood couple once upon a time and also hosted other notable guests like Johnny Cash and Jackie Kennedy. Wood and Wagner rented this oceanfront beach house on Oahu's coveted Diamond Head coastline in 1978, which offers breathtaking mountain views. In happier times, the couple enjoyed this beautiful beach house in Honolulu, which offered three bedrooms and four and a half baths. Interiors of the home span 3,168 square feet, and it's situated on a third of an acre. The traditional home, featuring batten board siding, boasts 85 feet of beachfront, complemented by a lawn, gardens, stone walls, gates, and hedges for privacy. Design details include hardwood floors, crown moldings, and pocket glass doors that maximize ocean and garden views. The main bedroom on the second floor features vaulted ceilings, a walk-in closet, and a covered ocean-facing lanai. As we can see after touring her one-time properties, Natalie Wood's legacy extends beyond her remarkable film career to the beautiful home she lived in, each reflecting a piece of Hollywood's golden era. Her properties, from the charm of her Palm Springs estate to the elegance of her Hawaii vacation getaway, capture the grace and sophistication that defined her life. These residences, once shared with her husband Robert Wagner, are now historical treasures, offering a glimpse into the private world of a beloved Hollywood icon. While her life was tragically cut short, the homes she left behind continue to tell the story of a woman whose star power and personal beauty remain timeless. After watching this video, what property was your favorite? Who's your favorite star from Hollywood's golden era? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye.